Okay, today I'm playing Chicago Noir. This map is amazing. You play as a detective, which now is watching the past to see what happened. And look at the details. Even the, the wood is getting chipped off by the shots and stuff. So we are this detective that has done something in the past, got his wife killed, and now he wants to solve the mystery. I'm not going to talk about the story or spoil it. I recommend everyone playing this map. It's amazing the way they made it. It's like one of those telltale games that you just go on a journey. There's a rich story in it. And every element is truly matching the gameplay. Uh, there are six endings to this game. So I recommend playing it six times at least. I'm sure you're going to play it more. So there is one this quest that I don't know what's if it has anything to do with the story. I'm not gonna get it because if I get that, then the cinema door will close. So I'm gonna just do it this way this time. So look at the atmosphere, the way things look, and this is made on a one by one maps. Let's look at the music, how it changes found a dead body you're inspecting the dead body I i'm not gonna talk about this story the story is also great it could have been better maybe but it's really enjoyable to play and uh, I, I don't care if i haven't got all the eps i don't know if uh, i'm doing something wrong or the game doesn't like uh, check one of the tasks but the game is so much fun i think i played this map eight or nine times already and i'm sure i'm gonna play it again look how they made the story and the way they move they made the movement slow it takes more time to reach everything has been done greatly so i don't know which ending i'm gonna go for so i'm just gonna go play it as i normally would i don't want to do the last one which is like the most happy ending so again the music changes you are this detective trying to detect and how the things like pop up the light up and stuff it's it's very great oh there was a guy there oh uh the guy got stuck <laughs> that's unfortunate from the game makers but so now there's a chase oh they closed the way so now you have to go here it's amazing i'm i'm really enjoying it i i played this nine times i'm still enjoying how it's made but there are some issues like ah uh, i cannot go in there so i have to wait for her to move the thing maybe if it was faster oh oh <laughs> the way they made it it's amazing and the blend of the red color in this monochrome atmosphere. So we need a drink. We killed the guy. We couldn't get anything out of him to go for a drink. And again, I'm telling you, this is in a one by one map. So all these places that they've made. We had the cinema, we had the hotel, now we have the bar. Everything is in one a one v one a one by one map. Talk to me. And you can like end the game very fast. Those there are six endings to it and ways to actually ruin the game. Like you can do things that you get arrested and you get like defeated. You won't even end the game. Oh, I drank too much whiskey. I'm talking to my friends. You, you, you better read this story because if you don't read it, you don't know what's happening. So you're just pressing random buttons and it won't make sense. Especially if you want to get all the endings. So she asked us to be together and we drank another whiskey. We wake up in the morning. I think we were too drunk to remember. But our Billy guy has said, come over. 
So we go over to Billy. So you would wonder where is Billy's house? Is it gonna be close? Because it's a one by one map? No. Although it's one by one, you you'd be amazed that you have to take this subway. <laughs> and how they try to like force you play the story as they intended, so they just close off the area, you cannot go wander around. Yeah, so you, I'm taking this. And the characters, look at this guy. Looks amazing. <laughs> Everything looks great. Except us. <laughs> so yeah, we had to take this. And the way they made it, so it's actually living the story. I'm really liking it. So you can tell that I like it. we come to another apartment is another part of the map and look at the details so it's the fifth apartment on the third floor you know where to go so the game is just intended to play the story okay we're knocking at the door no one's answering okay that thing didn't light up so we go through the window why not oh something must have happened here Dang. <laughs> we inspect the body and you should read everything yeah i wish the last time after you checked all the parts of the body then it wouldn't like prompt another time we would just say okay let's let's leave because for the people who spam e it's gonna be tough i'm not gonna spoil any hidden stuff around here so i'm just gonna do it normally Okay, I don't know at this point why it didn't prompt me just to come here. I'm gonna see another person is there. It's the guy from the bar. We talked to him in front of the bar. He's the newspaper guy who was also at the beginning of the game. So, build connections with them. See, oh, there's a tree of spades in the trash can. Investigate even more to see what has happened here. You pick up a brick and you tell this guy the story and he's gonna hint you something so you're going to the goons try to use the tree of spades but it doesn't work yeah if telltale games could make games in sandbox it would continue making amazing games i think they stopped i'm not sure but I oh shit the guy caught me hey, you shouldn't go in the flashlight they've used so many game mechanics so we are infl infiltrating this uh, place we get more clues of course oh there's the woman. Let's see what happened. Is the woman we saw in the bar? So see, I haven't found some other clues, so I don't have this dialogue open for me. So it really matters what you do. I'm just going the normal route without checking everything. I'm gonna take this to her, and she's gonna stab me with a needle. At it. I open one mission but I don't care about that now I have two tasks either go to the hotel and uh, check the safe which I'm gonna do that actually and the hotel because there has been a murder so 
you have to avoid the cops so I said avoid them huh did it catch me again and there are cops all over the place so you have to wait for them to finish their route yeah we go back to the room with the safe we open the safe and we've got more info okay it didn't matter if i go to the lights or not because i want to get out anyways better for me then we go to see the bar guy for the last time we tell this guy i, I actually want to follow this guy where he goes but he disappears So you can see the dialogue is not open because I don't have enough info. So here we are given two choices. Either I go poison the guy or I just drink. I'm gonna go poison the guy. Why not? So the guy is looking away. You drop the poison. And he looks back. <laughs> it's very convenient that he looks away but it's very good and look the guy is coughing and he's trying to talk his movements are changing he's going down that's amazing. amazing so the game finishes here and we have to see what have we done so we open it and we die because of the poison the woman gave us and he dies because of the poison that we gave him so it's gonna say it's ending four of six and he's gonna say how it ended and how it was but that uh, quest remember your past i finished all the endings but i never got it done so i don't know how to get that done or if it gets done but that's it for this experience everyone should play this i loved it